rate and one of the stickiest factors keeping the central bank from its 2% target, those are insurance prices. Auto insurance jumping 22% from a year ago. In the most recent CPI read, this as a number of insurance companies, they're going to roll out their earnings results this week. Our Contessa Brewer joins us now with much more. Good morning, Contessa. You know, uh, Frank, it's not just car insurance either, though. That gets a lot of attention because it's included in the CPI data. But prices on property more broadly, casualty insurance, those are soaring as well. And those rates are being reflected in the earnings of the insurance companies. For instance, AIG beat EPS expectations yesterday when it reported its commercial insurance lines in North America saw a pricing increase 6% and stayed ahead of what the company paid out in claims. In part, AIG says it's because it's been more disciplined in how it takes on risk. But it also benefited uh, from low catastrophe levels. CEO Peter Zafino called the market conditions favorable. Let's take a look at the shares in the early trade this morning, up almost 3%. The earnings call begins at 8.30. We'll expect more insight there. And then you've got big car insurer, Allstate, also reporting earnings that trounced expectations, 5.13 a share against the expectations of 3.94. If you look back a year ago, this quarter, it had lost $1.30 per share. What happened? Well, Allstate has been able to collect higher premiums as insurance regulators approved these new hikes. The catastrophe losses fell by nearly 60%. Repair and replacement costs are stabilizing. Plus, Allstate saw improved returns on its investments. So the car insurance giant... It has just struggled here for multiple quarters, paying out more in claims than it could collect in premiums. Now it's playing catch up and it is seeing notable growth, for instance, in National General, which offers non-standard insurance for customers who might be difficult to insure. That earnings call starts at nine. We'll be watching there. We'll also hear from Hanover, Heritage, Hippo Insurance this morning. All of them will have their own insight into what the market says for where rates are and how much is getting paid out in claims, Frank. All right, so you're, you're laying it all out here. Uh, earnings coming up this week, as we said. What are we expecting on earnings calls? Are these premium hikes over, at least for now? You know, uh, it's interesting because Chubb has already done its earnings call, did so last week, and the CEO said it's the best rate in pricing that he's seen in, say, four or five quarters. Traveler CEO was asked on their earnings call, are the rate hikes over? Are we going to start to see auto insurance rates decelerate a bit? And the answer was, not really. Maybe they'll moderate, but then you're going to still see uh, property insurance prices continue to go up because why? They're paying out more for materials and for labor. And, Frank, across all lines of insurance, litigation is a huge cost factor. It costs a lot to deal with the lawsuits that have been introduced.